beautiful day here in OC this it's morning. Gorgeous, dude. The sun. You even got one of those huh? hoodies on, hey? Dave, money. let's go. Did you rob the bank? So this, this is a sizable is deposit on our lease. Like, uh, this is like. Tell them the truth. We did six months paid. So because we're Canadian. Not trustworthy. We're not trustworthy. <laughs> we don't have credit scores down here. We're Canadian. We don't have SSNs and all that stuff. So I had to give six months prepaid rent. And that building isn't cheap. So this is six months prepaid rent right here. Almost six figures. <laughs> yeah. So now we got to go drop this off where? So the listing agent's office is in Newport. We'll drop this off. We're waiting to sign the actual final paperwork and get our moving date, which is about Two weeks? 11 days from oh, 11 now. days. I'm trying to get in a little bit early. But as you guys saw in the last video, the second last video, there's quite a bit of stuff that I move out. I mean, this is like 20 years worth of possessions, but we'll be in soon. This is a big step. This is the money. I'm getting a the picture money. right now for my Instagram. Okay, <laughs> follow Dave underscore DD. <laughs> I brought the Viper out. I'm warming it up. Give Anthony his very first taste of the Drift Viper TA. It's gonna be some fun. The last time we drove it, thought something in the front end. Dean said may have been a little loose. That's why I was pulling. So we're, we gotta go to Newport. We gotta go to Newport. And then we wanna reveal to these guys the massive. And we're talking massive mod yeah. that we had in the works mm -hmm. for over two years before COVID hit and screwed up all our plans. So we're gonna go all the way up to LTMW and see our boy Long for the first time in over two, well, two years. Two years. We have not seen Long out of all of our trips here. We haven't taken a lot of time to be able to go up there. Some of the times we tried to meet, our schedules weren't aligning, but today is the day. And he pulled out of the warehouse this massive Lamborghini mod. There's your little hint that we had in the works and we may still have to do something with that. Why don't I say void on this? Anyways, let's go. <laughs> Let's go. You ready for this? Yeah. Do you like Vipers? I, dude, I've always loved Vipers. I always just can never justify buying one, but the bang for buck and the fun. Okay, okay hold on. The audience wants to know now. Uh, Back the f it. up. What do you mean you couldn't justify <laughs> buying one? I don't know. I guess the utility versus the fact that it's an American utility. car. Hold on, hold on, hold on. This has a trunk. Yeah, I know. I put my bag in it. I was kind of quite surprised that there was still trunk space. What's the issue with the utility? I don't know. I guess I just didn't want to be a Viper guy. I guess that's really what it boils down to. <laughs> you guys go ahead. Have fun with that one. All you people who love Anthony, where's Anthony? Where's Anthony now, huh? If you're a Viper lover? Cancel. Cancel culture. <laughs> well, let's go. So a few little things you'll notice that are different. Handbrake. This does nothing. Completely useless. Always have to park the car in gear and on a slight hill like this grade of this parking lot is, can be a little sketchy. You know what I love, dude? What? Look how much leg room I have. I dude, can't dude, do that in any Dude, we were surprised. Other car. I don't know any car you can stretch your legs like fully out. That's amazing. This is not the most convenient, <laughs> <laughs> convenient location because uh, I like to push my leg against, you know, the console when I drive. I don't know why I do that. I just do that. We do have, in very traditional DD fashion, an engine light on, but everything's running okay. It's just because we modded some stuff. So, seatbelt, and away we go. Well, I warmed this thing up on the way here, so nothing happened. It just was clunking and stuff like Anthony was saying, but I'm giving them the drive. Like, you know the drive. Six M5 LT looks good with all trees in the back. Oh, yes. <laughs> Anthony and I followed you, and can you validate that? Thank you, sir. You're gonna drop off the money? 400 bucks. <laughs> Stop $40. <laughs> I wish. When we're driving, and he's like, man, this thing's clunky and like makes some noises. This is like, what's different about the drifting part that you guys added versus stock? And I said, when it was stock, this car was a really good car. We turned it into a drift car slash because race car. And that's why it's clunky now because of, you know, mainly because of the rear lock diff. So when we take really tight corners and parking lots like this, it's like clunk, 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 and the inner wheel will actually leave a little bit of rubber on the pavement. So it's cool, but it's like, you gotta be in the mood to drive this car. If you just wanna cruise, this ain't the car to take. All right, classic DD at a gas station. Now, I have to do this often again. As you guys know, the running joke is there's no gas gauge in this car. And a lot of people commented saying like, is there actually no gauge in that model? No, something like that. Something broke in the tank. Uh, they fixed it, but that's what else broke. Just because it's a McLaren, sometimes you take it apart and other things break. So we're gonna get it all dialed in. But what I discovered is, it's the last time it was modified by Gintani when they went back in there and changed the other flap to the original flap or whatever. Now it'll tell me when it gets to a certain point. So when it gets to halfway, it'll start going down. Speaking of fuel problems in this car, we have the latch issue, which I ordered a new one. It doesn't come here yet, but it does lock when you're driving. So. Right in here is a mechanism. So if I lock the car, it'll actually stay. Watch this. Here, hold on. I'll show you a trick. There's no trick. It's just. No, no, no. Watch, watch, watch. Everybody's wondering. Well, yeah, it's locked, once it's locked. It. 
Yeah, you gonna drive on so, with the car locked? I've, I've been doing that. Does it work? Yeah, if the car is locked, it stays down. But, so how do you get in and without it popping up? Do you take the tape off? No, I think I stay on. <laughs> Breakfast? Yeah. Sometimes I get mild headaches, you guys. I'm carrying the weight of this channel your whole life or what? <laughs> wow, that's good. Wow. That's rich. You know what? Self-made doesn't exist. I'll tell you that right now. No one's ever done anything getting to the top all by themselves. It's a team effort. Anthony, why don't you drive the Viper on the freeway? Because I don't want to be a Viper guy. <laughs> I don't want to be a just Viper kidding, guy. I'm like Dean Carney? You don't like Dean, do you? I love Dean. <laughs> Talks a lot of yeah, that's really why I love it. him. I can't help it. Him and his little accent. <laughs> <laughs> right there, that's belittling, his little accent. Yeah. Uh, okay, cold start. A warm start. For whatever reason, I always call out the Fast and the Furious Viper because of the color scheme and the decal, and I actually really like it. And truth be told, I never liked Vipers before we met Dean. That locking dip. It's so tight, dude, when you turn like that. It like walks up the rear. Yeah, because both wheels turn the same speed. Okay, gas cap stay closed. Door makes contact. Yep. <laughs> We're the worst supercar owners in the world. Yeah, I was never a Viper guy. I just didn't appeal to me, but it's actually, honestly, I'm not gonna say bang for the buck because that's the most condescending. It's actually a really cool car. It's very raw and visceral, and they just don't make cars like that. It's just like, it's so unique to what it is. It's a hell of a lot cooler than a Corvette. And I mean offense to Corvette owners. Okay. Seatbelt on now. I'm not sure if I've shown you this. When you get in the McLaren, there's actually a few steps. You always gotta do this, make it fun to drive. You ready? Four things. You gotta go active, ESC off, e brake off, drive. All the buttons. Okay, we have to go to LTNW in uh, Los Angeles. The body shop, according to GPS, 45 minute drive. For you, it'd be probably 30 seconds. Let's go. Remember that one time we flew private? That was fun. <laughs> now we just stare at them from the parking lot. We did it one time. One time. Smell that? Yeah, it's his clutch. Is it? Yes. Why? So, that locking dip, you gotta really pound it. Dean also destroyed that one. You guys are being hard on Dean right now. And actually, Dean's calling me right now. What are the odds of that? I'm gonna ignore it though, I got things to do. Defending you the whole time. They were. Anthony was like, I don't like Dean. I don't like his accent. It was bad, dude. I got your back though. Right now we're driving to LCMW. The Viper's actually behind us right now. What are you doing? We are working on one of the projects. We're trying to get buttoned up. Unfortunately, in the spaces. Oh yeah. Yeah, another Viper. Here. I'm a little bit late. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I'm a lot late. And I'll probably hear about it in the next two weeks. If you guys recall, we built the Supra here as a vapor. And it's probably already cold. And I'm sorry I was late. I took the wrong turn and then oh, got confused. Good. Welcome back to LTMW, you guys. And Long is not here. <laughs> but we got Mr. Manager. What was your name? We just. Leo. Yeah. What's up, Leo? Hey, what's going on, man? Until Long gets back, he had to go pick up some parts as a guy who. He runs won't up be long. As a. <laughs> wow, he's got everything so we can go over to the warehouse and see what we're here to see. But in the meantime, we were ripping with Cam in the last video. And then on his drive home from OC to LA, his hood blew off. When it came up, it didn't smash the windscreen, but it did Holy smash the hell out of the wrap. Now this is why you wrap your car, because the only thing chewed up here is the wrap. So you could take these fenders off, rewrap them, put them back on, you'd be How good to go. How fast was he going? I don't know, but That's check this out. Card. The latch is still in. So it actually detached from the hood where it mounted. <laughs> That's actually a fear of mine. Now in that situation, I don't know about an aftermarket kit, but in that situation, from the factory manufacturers, make it so that when the windscreen comes up, there is actually a gap. So you know what to do, right? Yeah. You need to duck down and look between the gap where you're going. That's a design feature? Yeah. <laughs> Put any hood up. It doesn't go up and block the entire windscreen. Okay. Anyhow, we're here because two years ago, I've had a project I've wanted to do ever since I slayed eyes on this car. It was a Super Trofeo race car. And then they came out with the Super Trofeo Evo with the roof scoop and I was in love with it. But way before they ever made an STO. And I ordered and hunted for a kit right away. 
and we got one. We were really the first people to get it. The downside was COVID hit and we were unable to get here where the kit was delivered two years ago. Wow. Two, uh, two years this kit's been here. Two years? Yeah. Well, the storage fees on that. Yeah, not. Uh, at $150 a day, I mean. A day? Pricey. This is an impound yard or a body wow. shop. This is the behind the scenes. When Dave and I were hunting for the new Huracan project, we were going between a coop and the concept I had to create the spider or the the, e, the aperta yeah. from a spider. So we got to a place where we were like, we can build the aperta in Canada. We couldn't get back to the US safely with our families and all this stuff. So we didn't want to take the risk. And so we forewent basically making the Super Trofeo Evo kit. And we had talked about it way back in the day, you know, with Alex and stuff like that. So Alex obviously got his hands on one and Alex created it, which I'm super happy. He killed it. His kit looks awesome, but I have, the exact same kit as Alex, like identical. It's a killer kit, man. And for the record, I had it first. Uh, <laughs> oh, one of one. Let's go, let's go look at it, because the kit is kind of a mix of a true OEM Super Trofeo race car kit parts, kind of like the Liberty Walk build we did. Real Ferrari race wing, real Ferrari race mirrors. I had real Ferrari race seats and harnesses in my 458. But then, you know, the wide body was Liberty Walk. This kit has some of the panels are replicated from a, a company over in Belgium that made a mold of the Super Trofeo race kit so that factory drivers, once they bought the car from Lamborghini, didn't have to buy the really expensive, I guess, original kind of carbon Kevlar kit from Lamborghini. There is a Lamborghini tax, you guys. I was just, just say, like. And they do that in Ferrari too, you know? There's people who make those race mirrors yeah. for like half the price of what Ferrari charges for them. And Ferrari doesn't care. Like Ferrari Well, Ferrari, has Ferrari cares. The point is, is no one talks about it. Holy These are race cars, so these guys have budgets. Like to go racing is not cheap. They don't want to just blow all their money. They're not stupid people. They're very wealthy gentlemen. They didn't get to being wealthy like for the most money. part, unless it's family money. <laughs> that you know who you are. But for the people who earned it, they respect their money in a way that's different from someone who it's handed to, right? So long story short, they try to save money too in race programs. You can ask Dean. So what I was going to say is Ferrari has an F1 team to pay for, which explains Ferrari tax. Lamborghini, what's your excuse? <laughs> You're just expensive. Shareholder value? Guys do make these parts and they make them really, really, really well. And they're no different than really the factory part. So our kit's kind of a mix of that. So it's not in here. It's still in the crate. It was no. Delivered. So it's still in the crate. And what country did it come from? Belgium. Belgium. This is it. Oh sh! This is Holy fun. Smokes. Hold on, we gotta get a thumbnail. Holy smokes. Fragile, like my emotions. That's actually we're, really cool. We're actually gonna need a. It's screw. never been opened before, no. so it could be nothing. It could be uh, cinder blocks, and then we got scammed two years ago, and now we have no recourse. <laughs> this is possible, like Logan Paul with his uh, Pokemon cards. I wonder if that's real, by the way. I wonder if he set that up. Everything he does is genuine. Don't don't question Logan. Gang. Call Drill. Phil. Call Phil. And his friend Drill. So this is like the real deal. Full kit. Everything, I bought everything. I bought the OEM uprights and all the OEM hardware and fasteners. So technically, could just bolt on? No. Oh. Not onto a street car. <laughs> all race cars from Lamborghini are tube chassis cars. So they do have different mounting points. What Long's concept was, because he built our buddy Mark's car, which was the very first Sick. Super Trofeo Huracan for the street. His concept was to actually buy the silhouette. I think it's the silhouette Liberty Walk bolt-on fenders mm -hmm. and then cut those down and then basically mount the Super Trofeo fenders onto the oh, that's cool. silhouette. Like basically using the mounting points to mount up. It's like a really high grade fiberglass kit. Cause you paint it or wrap it. It's not, it's not all carving guys. And then the question is, do we still build this car? Yes. <laughs> do we, instead of being the second Super Trofeo Evo streetcar, could we do it on a spider? Oh, sh**, spider. Now, what's spider. the difference between the spider and the coupe? Is there any dimension? Big difference in the back. Yeah, the back's totally different. I don't know if he could make it work, but it'd be pretty bad to see a spider yeah, ripping with, a, I like that. with a big wing I like that. and all that. Open cockpit. Yeah. Comment below. Spider or coupe Super Trofeo Evo kit. Bam. Which is crazy because you think about it, it was six months before it showed up that I ordered it. So it was two and a half years ago that I ordered it and three and a half years ago that I had the idea. Holy. That's how long some of this stuff is in the making. I don't think people truly appreciate like the patience, the money, like this kit is not cheap. So we put out a lot of money over two and a half years ago and made a commitment because this isn't bolt on. So <laughs> customizing a car and like three and a half years later, we're just gonna start the project. Oh, what? Like a tomb, like a tomb. Ooh. Oh wow. That's actually pretty heavy. 
Super Trofeo Evo kit for a Huracan. Now, putting this on a streetcar, like we talked about, is not direct bolt-on, a lot of customization. First thing I'm seeing is a hood. The thing we're gonna need to do is go through all of this eventually, and we're not gonna be able to do it today. I don't wanna tear this whole thing apart is we'll have to go part by part and just make sure there's no damage. The downside is I'm not shipping it back to Belgium to get fixed. So they would fix that in-house here at LTMW, which is not a big deal. It's fiberglass, it's not carbon. And it's gonna be painted over. These guys did a really phenomenal job. That's a lot of work. All the angles of this for the mold. And then they have to actually insert all the places that the screws would go for all the additional pieces that go on top of this. The latches, we have hardware in here. I'm seeing right here, this is pretty cool. We move this just a little bit. I don't wanna move too much around. This, I think that's this foam. If you move this, this is the rear engine cover. Oh yeah. With the, like the shark fin. Mm -hmm. And then there's a roof scoop that goes on the front of that. You guys, if you've seen the other videos of any Super Trofeo Evo car, you know what this is gonna look like. It's really epic, especially if it's on a street car. I think our job is to obviously take this and use it. I think a lot of you guys would be excited. We would do it with the DD Touch. So it's never gonna be a, a, a replica of someone else like Alex's car who, who's done his. We'll make our car different. And I think I like the idea of doing it on a spider. I think it would be cool. No one's ever done that. So we have the full wing and everything in here. So we have options. I had a render way back on my Instagram, if you remember, where I did a render without the wing. So it was just the shark mm. fins, which was funny because then they came out with the uh, Koenigsegg Yesco absolute which was a high speed one and they didn't have a wing on it but they only had the shark fin down it actually i think they have two shark fins so it would have a look like that so it'd be more like a maybe a top speed huracan super trofeo evo what would you guys like to see i think what i'll do in the community tab is i'll, I'll put it to a vote huracan coop or huracan spider so we'll put the lid back on this we'll set a date we'll see what you guys want to do we're gonna go huracan shopping buy another huracan right now we have some more big news. So there's been a lot of stuff going on, which is why we've been busy behind the scenes. We haven't been able to make a few videos. We have two potential locations to go supercar and hypercar racing, guys. We've always wanted to do some type of a racing series. I didn't really know what that would look like. And after doing Unicorn versus the World 2, I was really excited. I also want to learn more about racing. I found out my reaction time is really, really bad. The car didn't help, but my reaction time is really, really bad. So we want to get into more stuff, more motorsports, also, it's really legit when you have your own private place. So right now we're gonna go look at one of potentially two 5,000 foot long runways. You wanna see some drag racing, Anthony? I would love to see some drag racing. You Anthony, see, get you the want, jet. You wanna see your Porsche get destroyed by basically anything? Oh, Damon, you did it! Everything except for maybe an endurance race where reliability is key. Boring! <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, who wants to watch an endurance race? <laughs> Amra here. Listen. What? I promise we didn't purposely get lost just so I could pull a 180 handbrake in the middle of the road. I saw that. Anthony's phone was going crazy and we actually missed the turn. So he was like, hey, you got to do a U-turn. I said, you don't say. <laughs> skirt, skirt. And it was like the perfect U-turn, wasn't it? I saw you lock up on the freeway there. Was that on purpose? No, any, because no I, he was like, oh, you're taking the exit. And I thought I was like, gonna have to get into the last minute in between these two cars. And I downshifted like way down. And because of the locking dip, the uh, motor compression just locked up the rear end. I got sideways. Oh yeah, dude, that was like, <laughs> I got carbon brakes, steel brakes. The great news is, is it stepped out in the right direction. Like it stepped out this way, opposed to this way when I was trying to go right, just like that. Any thoughts, Anthony? None. Got it. You like the car, don't you? I love it, I really do. You big Viper guy? Yeah, maybe not as janky as it is right now, but like a proper. What the <laughs> janky? <laughs> <laughs> it's a drift car, it's like, just clunky and They're banging. all janky. Yeah. Like, this is the real meaning of because race car. <laughs> I think a lot of people feel that the Drift Viper was the true first real build on daily driven exotics because there were like control arms and differentials replaced. Yeah. I'll just wait to have what's coming next. Just wait what's coming next. It's gonna be huge. 
We're gonna lower the next car we buy. No, seriously. As far as like <laughs> modification level and custom, yeah, custom. We got some crazy stuff. Got some crazy stuff coming for that. Crazy, crazy. We can get Off some food. Charts. Right now we're going to. Um, Did you check and make sure the restaurant was open? Cause it looks pretty freaking closed to me. Look, it does look closed to me too. It Did you check? Did you call? Anthony's about to get ever, yelled at. Ever led you wrong, Dave? Anthony's about to get yeah, yelled at. Open. It could be a new location. <laughs> 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 Gas cap! I'm not getting to get out of. Hey. Come on! Hey, Anthony, can you reach my gas cap? <laughs> uh, I'll go down. Oh, hold on. Try it now? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> the audience needs to know. This is the stuff sometimes we don't put in the vlog. We're now gonna start putting in the vlog. The dumb stuff we deal with. 